Hello, welcome to lesson 53, Collections in C Sharp, part 4, Stack, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what Stack is. Okay, C Sharp includes a special type of collection which stores elements in last in first out style. We understand what is this last in first out. And it includes a generic and non-generic stack. But as of in this session, we are going to concentrate only on non-generic stack. And see, uh, stack stores the values in last in first out format. What is this style? The element which is added last will be the element to come out first. It means in this stack collection, if you are adding element at the first and that particular element which you are adding at first will come out at the last or which is added last will be the element to come out first. Okay. And use the push method to add elements into the stack and the pop method to just remove the element and peak method. It will always return the topmost element in the stack. Okay. Let us um, in brief uh, see what are the properties and methods present in stack. We have a property called count which counts the number of elements present in the stack and few methods like push, peak, pop and contains and finally the clear method. Now without wasting much time we'll uh, uh, see a demo on all these properties and methods. Okay. I'm having a console application here. What I have to do, I have to just uh, create a stack. Keep in mind this stack is present in the namespace called system.collections. I'm going to create an object of it. Sorry. Um, new stack. Okay. Now once I'm having an object of it, what is my next object, next uh, thing? I have to add elements to the stack. How do I add elements? Uh, stack class is having a method called push method to add elements to it. So what we'll do, we'll add elements using that push method push what it has to push it has to push some uh, elements here I'm going to add some string elements like C sharp okay s dot push um, what is the next element I'm going to add MVC then s dot push C sharp MVC selenium Okay, and s dot push. Sorry. Okay, s dot push. This is the last item we are adding. It can be like uh, JavaScript, or we called as x my my script. Okay. Now what did I do? I just added. What did I do? I just added some uh, script, some values to the stack. The stacks like, uh, what, what is the item it consists of? It consists of string values like C sharp, MVC, Selenium and ECMAScript. Now what did I do? I, to my stack I added a values using the help of method push. Now let us see other methods like peak. What is this peak going to return? Returns the top item from the stack. So um, now s dot peak. Okay, this is a method. What is this method going to do? Okay. Now I'll just print this method. Okay, now when I run this program, you can observe what is this peak method going to give us. It's going to give us the topmost element present in the stack. Here the topmost element is C sharp. Let us see whether it is going to give that or not. Okay. Yes, it gave us the ECMAScript. script. Okay. Why why does ECMAScript why why it did not give C sharp why it gave ECMAScript because you can observe here um, stack follows last in first out format means the element which is added last last will be the element to come out first and that's what the rule it followed here when we use s dot peak method is going to give us the last element because what is the last element we added that is the element which is going to come out at the first so we got output called ECMAScript okay that is the usage of peak method. Okay, now uh, we have another method called pop. What is this pop method going to do? Removes and returns item from the top of the stack. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll use another method called pop. Okay. What we'll do is uh, s dot. Okay, this is the pop what we wanted. Okay, now 
when I run this program what it is going to do it's going to print the values like ECMA script okay um, it just gave up it just gave uh, what it removes and returns the object at the top of the stack okay now let us see the count whether it's going to remove that element or not now what we'll do is we'll just count first uh, count count is a property we are making use of it now now as per the definition of pop what it has to do it has to remove and returns the object at the top of the stack in this the element which is present at the top of the stack is ECMA script now uh, as per the definition what it has to do it has to remove this ECMA script once it is removed at the last we have to get a count called 3 okay if that is following exactly let us see what is the output we are going to get yes it has removed this element okay this is what the pop going to do at the initial the count was 4 when it removed when it returned and removed this element the count is 3 and that's what our pop method is going to do okay and coming back to presentation we have contains uh, to check or cross verify whether the item is present in the stack or not for example now what I'll do uh, I want to check whether MVC is present in this uh, stack so what I'll do I'll just s dot uh, we have a method called contains it takes value like uh, I want to pass this MVC to check whether it is present in this list or not okay control V and okay fine but the return type of this container is bool so what I'll do I'll just create one variable called a and I'm storing the value in it okay then I'll print that variable whether it will check whether the element is present in that or not if it is present it will give true or false obviously it has to give true because it is present let us uh, pass some other uh, like uh, value which is pr not present here like uh, let us pass like uh, jquery okay in this list we don't find a value called jquery then what is the value it is going to return it's going to return false why because that element is not present there let's wait for that because my application is being scanned my file is being scanned let's wait for that for a while okay as it gave us the output telling that false because that element is not present there and that is what the usage of contains key and we have the final method left out what is the final method the method is clear what is this clear going to do like uh, first of all we'll count s dot dot count and the last between that we have to use a method called clear what is the clear method going to do it is going to clear all the elements present in this stack so at the starting we are going to count we'll get a count as 4 once we are using clear method the elements present here are 0 so final count will get it as 0 let us examine this properly okay fine yes it is giving me the output like 4 and 0 that is what the usage of this clear method and as of now we learned all the properties and methods present in the stack and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankro training below